Okay, guys, do you want to know why you're losing almost every game you play? Look, I'm going to show you. It's because you usually go to a shit position and then you sit and wait. Take this game, for example. I ask in chat who's going to one line. Nobody says anything because why would you even bother communicating with your teammates, right? I'm going over here. I notice that I'm alone, right? So I don't bother going in. And look at all these. There's no way I'm going to be fighting that. So, look at, look how our team has dispersed. Seriously. Like, it, you're a top tier medium, a top tier heavy tank destroyer, and a top tier heavy. So what do you do? You sit in the back corner. This is why you lose your games. You're sitting in the back corner doing nothing. You didn't take one of the most important positions on the, of the map, which is here. This position is important because you can shoot over here or over here. And although alone, that might not be so important. It's very important when you're trying to play this position. And pe you're getting shot from there and there. So look at this, uh, look at this lineup. You basically got your top tier tanks camping in the corner. In fact, almost all of them are. 705A, look at these. All these camping in the back. We got the sniping TD, or sniping medium, up in the front. You know, that's cool. And then this is where this is where you, sh you should be, right? This is where the, the heavy should be, playing the game. But instead, we got one person in the middle. One person here who's probably going to get shot by TDs. And then, watch. I'm going to speed it up. Can you imagine what happens? The standard B actually decides to, to do something, but it's far too fucking late. And then these guys are just sitting here doing nothing. Why, why do you think you lost? You're top tier, heavy, medium, whatever, sitting in the back. There isn't even Artie, so I don't even know why you would sit in the back. Alright, so, you camp the whole game, you're full health in your big slow heavy tank, right? Let's see how long he lasts. Wow, I couldn't have seen that coming. Alright, here's another game. Again, I start off the match by saying... Go one line. Okay, let's go one line, right? One line? Hello? No? Okay, fine. <laughs> Nobody went one line. And I'm talking fast mediums, right? We're not talking slow TDs. So I'm like, okay, fine. We got a whole, you know, onslaught of people over here, right? Hopefully uh, we can do something with this. Spoiler alert, we can't. Do you know why we can't? Because look at this. Their team understood what to do, right? Yeah, they took a few hits getting here. It doesn't matter. Because now look. How the fuck are you supposed to outplay these guys when you're over here? Right? You cannot get over here if these guys are over here shooting you in your side. I mean, look, I'm over here. I can't go play up there. I have to focus on these guys now. This is like the worst place to put a T95. Not because it's a bad sniping position, but because you're a top tier, heavily armored tank destroyer camping in the fucking back. Can you guess what happens? It's simple. It's quite simple, actually. I'll explain it to you. What happens, Yeah, your whole team goes to the side that you cannot push. They sit, and then while the other side, that can easily be pushed, gets pushed by the enemy team, you lose. So what do you take away from this? When you start here, what you do is you say, let's go one line. You type it in chat, because there's going to be at least a few guys, you know, they're looking at the map, they're like, oh, I don't know, where do I go? You say, let's go one line. You go one line, you bring a couple of buddies with you, you go over here, you either die, and in which case you just go on to the next game, or you beat everybody here, and then it's pretty much a guaranteed win. It's that simple. Or, let's say you have only three guys coming with you, and you're not sure if three guys are enough. As you're coming, momentarily stop at this bush. If you don't spot anybody, alright, go with the rest of the buddies. If you spot like five guys going up, shoot them as they go up. Now... It's not impossible to win if people go up here. The problem is, it's impossible to win if people go up here 
your team sits over here, they let this get taken, and they let this get taken. So you can make it easier on yourself by trying to win the easier side of the map. That's the goal with this video. There are two sides to every map. There is the easy to push side, and then there is the hard as fuck to push side. Okay? Let's go on to the next replay. Alright, okay, so this map, or this game, pretty much sums up perfectly what I'm saying, alright? There's the hard side to push, and then there's the easy side to push, okay? What's the hard side to push? This side is the hard side to push. Now, I'm not saying this is for every game. I'm not saying it's impossible to push this. What I'm saying is, it is more difficult to push this side when there are camping TDs over here, and over here, and whatever. It's harder to push this side than it is to push the city. Right? I'm gonna make this map bigger, and I'm gonna speed up the replay. We got a whole bunch of mediums on the one line. Fucking useless, they're not gonna do anything over there. Now, if they actually pushed, then that would have been good. But, you know, you can't <laughs> trust puppies to push because, I don't know, if they die in the game, they die in real life. That's how it works. But watch, I'm gonna speed up the replay. Look at the city, and look at the field. You got a, like, a cluster of like five people. They may as well be fucking AFK. They're not doing anything there. City gets nuked and fucking just... <laughs> and then eventually the one line dies. Right? Do you see, do you understand what happened? Okay, let's start over. A whole bunch of mediums went to the one line, right? Check this out. They are already pushing this side, right? Very a bold and aggressive play. This makes for a very interesting game because now I don't have to fight hull down and and you know, fucking turret hull down turret meta whatever. So now this is an interesting city fight, except for one fucking small problem, and that problem is okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now these two are out of the fight. Because, like, let's be real here. They kill this guy, and they're gonna sit here, okay? So... You know, you're watching this side of the map. This... <laughs> Scorpion comes in, dies instantly. You know... There you go. I'm gonna pause it. Look at the city. There's four people in the city. Four enemies, that is, in the city. And two allies. Let's let's take a gander at the one line. Oh look, they're still there. Imagine if we had maybe two or three of those mediums coming over here and helping us win the city earlier on. Now you might now you know you're saying okay then it makes it a fair fight. No no no. How do I phrase this? We have held the city off for this long with the tanks we had. Had they been here like three or four minutes earlier, we would have won the city with a landslide. It would have been easy. Okay, look, now you might be saying, okay, so, okay, fine. You put the mediums in the city, then you lose the one line. That is 100% not a problem. Because if you win the city, it is way easier than if you win the one line. You could still send a few people here, right? Like, there's a scorpion here, a charioteer, maybe a centurion with his turret armor over here, and a light tank spotting. Anytime he gets YOLO'd, he gets shot by TDs. It's okay to have a few people here, but if you lose the city on Kharkov, you lose the game. Alright, it's that simple. Alright, next game. Okay, so this is one of the most infuriating situations you'll ever find yourself in. They've got an ELC even 90. Alright, look where I am. I'm driving like this, I get lit immediately. I know where he is. Where is he? I'll show you, right there. Only this spot would have the elevation to spot me from there. Okay, so multiple, look in the chat, multiple people are pinging E1 and we said, Lynx, look over there, I'm blind firing, I'm making it easy for him. He is looking at it. There is an even 90 in there, 100%. So what does this guy do? All right, he's trying to spot, but you're a Lynx, you have bad view range. What you do is you go like this. You go like that. You drive up, you do a 180 and go back down. You might die, you might not. The point is, he gets lit, and he dies, right? Let's watch what this guy does. He gets lit, gets shit on twice. <laughs> now look what he does. 
what did you expect was going to happen? Like, you're a lynx. You don't have view range, right? You spot by yoloing in. You got an even 90 who's above you. He probably has Binox, CVS, everything. He's going to light you, no matter what. And then you decide to passive scout, like, 100 meters away from him. Look, I get it if you're new, but, like, if I'm in the chat telling you, you know, hey, he's in that, just drive up and drive back, and you ignore it, and then you do your own thing, and then you die. Well, then, what? what why not? Why not listen to somebody who's trying to help you? These guys... I mean, these poor bastards, they they know what's up, okay? They know. Oh, shit, light's dead. Let's get out of here, right? We 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 lost this whole side of the map because our Lynx tried to passive scout. Now, if you struggle with light tanks, that's fine. But if somebody's saying, hey, do this, it will work, and then you ignore them and say, oh, stupid Unicom just trying to farm damage, then <laughs> you're not going to improve. So can you guess what happens? Can you take a wild guess? We're confined to this tiny spot of the, you know, this tiny part of the map. And we lose. Yo, fucking we lose. No way. And eventually... Yeah, see, look, this even 90 is shooting me right there. He's firing and I'm not getting lit. So this guy's got an insane crew, insane everything, right? So it's no wonder he the Lynx couldn't spot him. Another thing I'd like to mention, okay? Play the middle of this map. Go to the middle of this map. Do not go over here. Don't go over here. Don't go over here in a heavy. Look, you can go over here in a tank destroyer or a sniping medium. Hell, you can HE this bush down. I patented that. Yes, I'm claiming credit for that. I've been doing it for years. Just don't bring your fucking heavy tank here. What do you think's gonna happen? You're gonna sit here, your heavy tank has 5% camo, you're gonna get outlit by an even 90 over there and you die. Take your heavy tank here. Even if there's three arty. If there's three arty, just sit back, wait till something gets lit, poke, shoot, and that's it. It's that simple. If you, s <laughs> if you go here, you can shoot the hill. If you see that you got a light tank doing good work, you go over here, you shoot what he spots. Don't. Go. Here. If you're in a heavy, that is, or a heavy TD. The hill, it's good to send a few people up the hill just so it doesn't lose instantly, but I'd advise against it. If you have good a good turret or good gun handling, you play middle, okay? That's, that's how you win this game, or at least on this map. Okay, next replay. I showed you why you lose, I'm going to show you why you win. Look what I say in chat. I said factory is always a stalemate. Win south. Do you know why factory is always a stalemate? Because it is. I'm going to show you why. Now, <clears throat> you go you go to factory, right? Now, don't get me wrong. This position, it's great. If you're if you're slow, and there's artillery, go here. You can snipe here, uh, across the map, whatever. But this is why factory is trash. Let me tell you. First of all, you gotta fight hull downs over here. You gotta somehow break through this guy's turret, impenetrable turret, while getting peppered by the TDs back there. Now let's say you do win. Okay, let's say you somehow beat this guy over there. Now you gotta cross this. This is probably the the worst spot of the whole map. You get shot from here, you get shot from there, and you get shot from there. Now, we won this game. You know why? We sent our big, fat, slow heavies here. Uh, admittedly, this guy could have probably came with us, but you know what? Look what he's doing. He's supporting us with our push over there. So good job. This guy knows what he's doing. These two, they don't really, <laughs> they don't really know what they're doing, but it's, they're still important. You still need somebody here to prevent them from just yoling across. So good. If, big, fat, slow heavy here. And uh, they're out of render now. That's why you can't see them. This is the side that you push. Right here, this is great. Shooting people like this, you clear this out. This guy, he'll eventually get spotted and HE to death. And I get RD'd as per fucking usual. But check this out. Look where these two guys are. These guys know what they're doing, right? You won this side. Now you sit here. Why do you sit here? Wow, bonus ELC. You know, you got a light tank that knows what he's doing. Now they're out of render. Look at the fucking map. 
How many people do they have here? I counted six. There are six enemies here. We have three enemies here. Our, or allies, our three allies held six enemies in place. This is 10 out of 10 gameplay right here. This is how you win. So these six idiot moron heavies came here and sat and got held up by three heavies. We are up three tanks over here. That means we can win this side easily. And guess what? We do. You'll see. Now, admittedly, we had a few guys just YOLO in. I'm not really sure why. Now, here's the key uh, lesson here. Once you beat this side, right? It is very hard to push into their base. You got TDs here. TDs here. And TDs over there. And it's a big open cap circle. There's nothing to do. And you get shot by that. That's not what you do. You can leave a few people here. But what you mainly do is what I'm doing. Now that we've won that, I can play up here without getting lit. You know, the Barras could do it earlier because they had camel. But now I can do it. But watch this. Now that I know that this side is clear... You know, just because we won this side, doesn't mean we have to push. It now means that this won't shoot us in the rear. Watch this. Look where I'm going. I can make this play now. Because there's nobody back there to shoot me. And, like, uh, first, I don't know how. I guess because there's one TD, so you can actually push this. But right here. That's it. They lose. And check this out. Despite the fact that they have way more tanks than us, right? They have six over here. We are actually pushing it. Look at these guys fucking go. Scorpion? Don't give a shit. They can push this because they won't get shot from back there because we won it. Now they can angle their armor to the Scorp and these guys. And this is assuming that you can't push this. Let's say, let's say your, your buddies are stuck over here. That's fine. As long as you don't get shot by back here, you can make this play. Going over here, that is. Here. But I see now, look look where this Barask is, right? He's spotting a whole bunch. You know, it's 11 to, 5, or 11 to 5. I don't care if I get shot by a scorpion. There is no scorpion. I can play here now. So these guys, they've been sitting here the whole game doing nothing. And now they die for it. So what's the key lesson to take from this? Okay. Um, factory is a stalemate. It almost always is a stalemate. Alright, this side of the map. Is this side of the map important? Well, it depends. Because it plays very similarly to the other side of the map in that it influences the, the factory, right? So if that little hill, if you win that hill, the heavy tanks in here can push up, angle their armor to in front of them, and angle their armor to that town over there. Alternatively, if you're a heavy tank here and your team wins that little town over there, you can push forward and angle your armor against this hill and in front of you as well. Either way, either this spot of the map has to be won or the other side of the map has to be won in order for Factory to not be a stalemate, you know, in order for you to break the camp and move forward. The thing is, this side of the map, it's easier to push and win than the other side of the map. This side of the map, you have a nice, like, what is this, dried up waterbed that you can play in, go hull down, and you can go over here and shoot into the factory. On the other side of the map, it's pretty hard to dig people out, right? If you're here, it's pretty hard to dig people out from over here. Plus, you'll get artied, plus you'll get shot by factory and TDs in the back. So you could go here, you could win it if you think you can, right? If, you, if everybody's been spotted except the except maybe one or two TDs, you could definitely go up here into these bushes and shoot the factory and maybe progress down. But this is dangerous. An easier alternative is to push this side of the map. So, there you go. One last time. How do you win Stuzanki? Yeah, okay, this is Stuzanki. You go here, okay? How do you win Vagina map? Don't go to the clitoris, okay? The clitoris does not exist. Most men cannot find it. Go here. Go to the fucking, I don't know, the, the hole.
you win that hole and then you go to the clitoris. When you're more experienced with navigating down low, then you then you find the clitoris. Okay, shut the fuck up. We're going to go to the next one now. All right, next replay. We're on Westfield, right? So, <clears throat> we got a whole bunch of people here. Now, admittedly, these guys kind of played like shit. This guy uh, loses all his HP through the tur turret roof. Uh, he has 8 degrees of gun depression. Why he went here, I have no idea. Pro tip, never go here. I don't care what you think. Never go here. Don't go here. Ever. Okay? Don't go here. Ever. Never go here. Got it? Good. What you do, you go here. If there's somebody already here, you go there. Alright? It's that easy. You go here. Somebody's already there, you go here. But the main reason we won this game... Check out this I-7. It looks like what he's doing is stupid. But if you... To be fair, these are all lower tiers. There's two TDs. Only one of them is back there. Uh, the, the, the cans of Panzer. He's a top tier. He has no gun depression. He doesn't care. He's going to push in. In a bit. He's eating shots for it. He's, uh, you know, he, he did lose half his health, but we won this side. When you win this side, you win the game. It's that simple. Look at their side. They sent, well, actually two-thirds of their team, by the looks of it. Two-thirds of their team to the most irrelevant spot on the entire map, right here. This is so utterly useless. You, <laughs> like... You could just, your whole team could be on this side of the map and you win. This is not necessarily the easier side to win, but the more important side to win. Look at this 277. They're top tier heavy. He went fucking here and look at him now. I think he just rammed some like, what, tier 8s or something? And now he's going to get shot by everything here. Oh look, he's dead. How did that happen? Well, he's a top tier heavy who went to the most irrelevant spot on the map. Yeah, I know he doesn't have gun depression, okay? I understand that. He can't really play here that well because he doesn't have gun depression. This IS-7, he, that didn't stop him. He went, he ate shots, he pushed through, and we win the game because of that. We, that's It's that simple. We won the game because the IS-7 made pressure and he pushed in. Now look, it's 7 to 5 and, the you know, we're only up 700 HP. You might think, oh, it's a close game. It's not close. We don't even have a light, and we're still going to win. Why this side is so important, I'll show you why. You get some a bunch of people here. Look, we're all pre-aiming already, as you should. We're all here, and we're waiting. Couple of guys, you know, there's a nice tree line here if you're a light tank. You go like that. Boom, you spot all this. Why this position is so important? We're going to spot an E50 soon. Watch what happens to his health. Alright, he gets lit. <laughs> fucking dead instantly. We got a whole fucking gun line up here. Shooting whatever they spot. Look at these two. They drive up here. They light a bunch of people. Everybody up here shoots them. It's that simple. You can't win this side, or you can't win this map from here. It's that simple. You win this map by being here. Okay? And look, I'm not going to sit here and argue, oh, hey, well, one time I had a game, we went like that, and we went down there, and blah, 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 blah. That's fine. I'm talking about, you know, most games, in most cases, if you don't win this side, it is very hard to win the game from over here. Now, if you're in a platoon of 277s or IS-7s or whatever, maybe you could. Maybe you could YOLO down, you know, full speed, and maybe get to under here, right? You know, that's, that's a, <laughs> at the end of the day, you're influencing this side of the map. You know, that's how you win this, this, this map, basically. So anyway, um, yeah, point made. Uh, don't go here. Uh, go here. Okay. Yeah, done. Okay, here's another interesting case, right? So, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but it's, it's very, very obvious. You win this side to win the game. That's how it is. Don't argue with me. This side, and that side, you know, this this whole fucking... E <laughs> Everything you see on screen here is <laughs> almost useless. 
You have to win this side. I don't know why. It's just how it is. Now, we got a pretty even, you know, spread of people, you know. Uh, they don't. They have a lot of people here. And they make the mistake of sending their whole team here and not pushing. I'll speed it up a little bit. This guy pushed in because he understood that, hey, we got a whole bunch of farts with us. Let's go in, right? Unfortunately, they didn't want to go in. Do you notice on the map? Our team recognized that there are so many people here. I mean, look look who's lit on the map. Or look who's not lit. There's an IS-22 who's not lit. And there's a Wheezy-120 that's not lit. That means there's probably an S... Well, there is an SU-130PM here and a Wheezy. IS-22, probably not. If you look on the map, um... We got a Udez, a Barask, and an AMBT going up here. Now you said, hey, Kems, you just said this side of the map is useless. It is. The thing is, <laughs> they recognize that this side of the map is also empty. And they can use this side of the map to get over here. I mean, look at the enemy team. They have their almost their whole team here. And they're just sitting. This is why they lost. They're just sitting. And trust me, I get one hell of a farm this game because of their, how much they're sitting. But look on the map. Now, you know, we're closing in from behind. What the hell happened? They had way more people than we did. Why did they lose? They didn't push. They just sat and they got farmed. Let's say they did push, right? And they won this side of the map. All this would have been useless. Because if they were actually good, by the time they pushed us, these guys would still be climbing up here. They would have pushed us a few minutes ago. They would be climbing up here completely out of the fight. Notice how the game is over when these guys here die. This side isn't super important. But you should not leave it empty because you will always have those games where, you know, nobody's here or one guy's here and then three light tanks come back and then they cap you out, right? So that's annoying. The point is, if these guys just went in, you know, forced their way, their way around to here, shot this guy in the back, maybe shot this, gone up here and shot the shit, everybody over there would be useless. They would win this side of the map. They would send some to reset the cap, and then they would just press onto our cap, and we'd lose. Now, lemming trains win games, but lemming trains require the train to keep going. If, you lemmi if your lemming train just stops, you lose, because you invested your whole team, or a sizable chunk of your team. This side of the map, you know, if you're a bottom tier medium, or bottom tier light, or, or, you know, not confident fighting over there, sure, you can go here. This spot is not necessarily bad, it just doesn't win the game. So you can go here as long as you do something. You can either snipe at, at whatever's over here, you can push whatever's over here, or if you recognize that the northeast is losing or the northwest, you can go over here and shoot, you know, as they come down. There's a side that you can push, there's a side you cannot push, right? There's a side that wins games, there's a side that does not win games. If you have trouble figuring out where to go, all you have to do is just watch some videos of some good players on YouTube, you know, or you could just install XVM and follow the Unicums around. <laughs> That's one way to do it. People I recommend to watch. Ayuxin. I'm pressing 5 and it's not working. Kajzu or Kajzu or whatever. He's pretty good. What if Wargaming made a sneaky game mode for artillery so when RD players queue up to click people in random battles, they instead click AI control tanks? Hey guys, let's do something epic. This guy only has like 9,000 subs, but he's actually pretty funny and he's very good at the game. So I think we should all just go and subscribe to him so he wakes up one morning with like 20k subs and his fucking mind explodes. Alright, so you don't have to necessarily agree with me on everything. I mean... 
The spots that I say that are bad are not necessarily bad for damage. You could get lots of damage or assist going to those spots. I'm just saying they don't help you win the game. Now, you're free to disagree with me. You could tell me in the comments what you think. Sure. I mean, you already watched this video. So, <laughs> I mean, thanks for watching and uh, fuck off.